From a living chupacabra caught in broad daylight to an eyeless monster washed up on the beach, here are 10 of the scariest creatures ever caught. Number 10. Chupacabra A couple in Texas claim to have captured the elusive chupacabra. For those who don't know what the chupacabra is, it's a mythical creature known for attacking livestock and sucking the blood from farm animals. Specifically, it loves slurping blood from cows and goats. Sightings of the creature have been reported primarily in Latin America, though they have spread recently into the southern United States. The Texas couple who allegedly caught the creature are residents of Radcliffe, and amazingly, they captured it alive. The creature has a hairless back, very large claws, and a mouth filled with teeth. According to an eyewitness, a local hunter in the region, he has never seen anything like it in 20 years. It's definitely not a raccoon or opossum, and it makes a noise unlike any local Texas animal. Brent Ortego with Texas Parks and Wildlife says it's some kind of small canine, maybe a fox, but it certainly doesn't look like one. The creature was handed over to wildlife officials who have been feeding it cat food and corn, though it still hasn't been properly identified and could realistically be anything, even a mutant. Number 9. Mutant Fish Speaking of mutants, a weird fish that has been terrifying locals in Russia was finally caught, and some claim it's a ferocious mutant. The mysterious fish was reported trying to bite people living near Lake Krugau, Siberia. The fish had rows of sharp teeth and an unusually thick tail that it could use to whack people on the feet. Some fear the mutant fish is the result of radioactive waste dumped into the lake by a nearby chemical factory. It's about four feet long and was finally hooked by a fisherman who took some photos of the creature after dumping it on land. It seems to have the head of a giant piranha yet the body of a small cod, making it look both scary and disturbing. However, experts later identified the creature as a wolf fish, not a mutant. But this doesn't make the mystery any less mysterious because wolf fish are usually found in the Arctic Sea, not in Siberian lakes. How it got there is a total mystery. Number 8. Photobombing Sea Creature A tourist was recently left baffled after a strange sea monster photobombed them. The tourist from Scotland, Harvey Robertson, was on a boat cruise with his family in Corfu, Greece, when he took a bunch of photographs inside a creepy sea cave. He was holding the camera over the edge of the boat and taking pictures of the black water. When he checked the photographs later, he realized that a strange monster was caught in one of the frames. According to Robertson himself, he had no idea what the thing was and had never seen anything like it before in all his life. So far, nobody has been able to identify the weird beast. It doesn't help that the picture is a little blurry. However, some have suggested it could be some strange sea creature from Greek mythology, like an ugly siren still living inside the cave, completely unknown to science. Number 7. Giant Rat A giant rat has been pulled out of the sewer in Mexico City, Local residents had their socks scared off their feet when the huge rat was hoisted out of the drainage system. The rat stood over six feet tall and was dumped onto the concrete along with 22 tons of trash and rubbish pulled out of the underground by city workers. Of course, it wasn't a real rodent at all, but a realistic Halloween prop. Still, the bizarre catch was enough to freak out people who saw it, with some of them first thinking there really were mutant rats living in their sewers. Later, a woman named Evelyn Lopez came forward to claim the rat as her own creation. She crafted the thing herself, but it had washed away several years ago during a big storm. How in the world such a giant rat managed to wash down into the sewers is beyond reason. How did it even fit? But hey, at least her and the big ugly rat have been reunited. Maybe she'll use it as a decoration next Halloween. Number 6. Werewolf in Montana, a rancher shot and killed something that looked like a small werewolf. Either that, or it was an unusually mutated bear, or a real-life direwolf. The animal looked very strange and puzzled animal experts all over the nation. Was it an ordinary wolf that happened to look a little weird, or a true monster? According to CBS News, the mystery of the killed werewolf was so serious that a DNA test was ordered to determine the true identity of the animal. After the hunter killed the animal, he contacted Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks. They showed up to take photos of it and post them online. It had grayish fur, a very large head, and legs that were a little too short to belong to a wolf. After a month of waiting, the DNA tests finally came back and the mystery was solved. In the end, it was just an ordinary gray wolf. This is according to testing done by the US Fish and Wildlife Service at their lab in Oregon. 
Nobody knows why the wolf looked so unusual, like a scrappy little monster. Maybe it was just born with abnormally short legs and an unusually terrifying face filled with sharp, werewolf-like teeth. Number 5. Deadly Sawfish A horrifying sea monster has been caught near the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. It was one of the rarest catches that a fisherman can make in the state, about as rare as sighting the legendary skunk ape. After a brutal 20 minutes of playing tug-of-war with the unknown creature, Kevin Thoreau finally gained enough ground to yank it out of the water. That was when he saw what it was, a sawfish. Sawfish catches are very rare. The animal itself is something of an underwater enigma. It has a long, heavy body that it uses to lay on the bottom of the sea where it hunts. The fish also has a pair of dorsal fins and a powerful tail that make it quite the fisherman's adversary. Of course, the most prominent feature of the sawfish is its huge saw, what marine biologists call a rostrum. It sticks out of the fish's face like a hedge trimmer, about five feet long. The enormous fish uses its saw to stun small fish. It swings the saw back and forth until it hits something. Then it collects whatever it managed to stun from the bottom of the sea. Number 4. Colossal Squid a fishing crew recently captured a colossal squid that weighed about half a ton and may just be the biggest of its kind ever captured by human beings. It weighs an estimated 990 pounds and is 39 feet long from the tip of its tentacle to the top of its head. It took the fishermen about two hours to catch it in Antarctic waters, according to the fisheries minister Jim Anderton in New Zealand. The fishermen weren't actually looking for a squid. Instead, they were trying to catch Patagonian toothfish south of New Zealand. The squid accidentally got hooked and was reeled all the way to the surface, but by the time it breached the water, it was pretty much already dead. The crew then had to work to get the specimen on board without damaging it. Not only is this the biggest colossal squid ever caught, it's also the first adult male specimen to have ever been successfully captured while still alive. But what's the difference between the giant squid and the colossal squid? The giant squid is actually bigger. Think of the colossal squid like its smaller, less frightening cousin. They can only grow to be about 46 feet, whereas the giant squid can grow to be over 60 feet. These beasts of the deep descend to around 6,500 feet beneath the surface and are notorious for being vicious hunters. The creature captured had eyes about the size of dinner plates and was transported to New Zealand's National Museum for scientific study. Number 3. Humanoid Creature Reports have been coming in that a tourist managed to get some video footage of an unknown humanoid creature captured in a cage inside an abandoned Romanian zoo. Before we go any further, keep in mind that other than the obscure video footage posted online by the young tourist, there has been no confirmation of the creature's existence by any mainstream media or professional scientists. But here's what the tourist says happened. He was visiting Ornest City in Romania and decided to check out an abandoned zoo that closed down in 2007 for unknown reasons. After asking around a bit with the locals, the tourist heard rumors that the zoo was actually once used for genetic experiments. After the tourist, who refused to give his name, snuck into the abandoned zoo, he recorded a strange being trapped inside of a cage. It screamed and flailed and made horrible noises, and the tourist ran off scared for his life. He didn't dare go back or even discuss what he'd seen until he was far away from the city. To this day, we have no answer or explanation for what he witnessed. If it was a genetically modified creature or the result of some failed human experiment. Number 2. Giant-Eyed Fish Russian fishing enthusiast Roman Fedortsov spends most of his days on fishing trawlers. At 39 years old, he's been working on trawlers for just about half his life on this planet. Recently, he began uploading some photographs he's collected of the bizarre animals that he reeled up from the deepest depths of the ocean. Most of these creatures come from the Norwegian or Barents Sea, some even from the Atlantic Ocean. According to Roman himself, some of the most bizarre fish he's caught include frilled shark, big sunfish, stoplight loose jaw, and even rabbit fish. But not all his catches are recognizable. For example, there was one fish he reeled in that had an eyeball growing out of its back. Nobody knows what the weird creature was, just another unidentified freaky fish from the darkest deeps of the ocean, maybe even a mutant, three-eyed fish. Number 1. Eyeless Monster Speaking of eyes, a mysterious creature with no eyes washed up on a beach in South Carolina and nobody could identify it. 
The terrifying monster had huge teeth, a weirdly shaped body, and it left Erica Constantine, the poor woman who found the thing while walking a dog, a little shaken. Erica has lived in the region for at least five years and has never seen anything like this. It looked like it was some kind of bone monster with almost none of its skin left. Even worse is that nobody could agree on its origin. The cops said it was a possum, some said it was a seal, and others claimed it to be a blood-sucking chubacabra. Erica even sent pictures of the creature to her friend at the College of Charleston to try and get answers, but it did no good. This scary creature is still unidentified. Which one of these creatures creeped you out the most? Let me know in the comments and thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe and come back for more awesome content.